Dear friends, I am CQ Guru. In this video, I'll be talking about AEM 6.4 Content Approval Workflow Demo. Here is the learning objectives. After this demo, viewer will have an idea on basics of AEM Content Approval Workflow process. We will walk you through overview of AEM Content or Asset Approval then a demo of manual workflow process overview of default workflow steps creating a simple workflow model creating a content approval workflow based on the model created verify the workflow by activating a page aem content approval what is aem content approval AEM content publishing involves a group of users like author, editor, legal or language verifier, etc. To enable involvement of multiple user roles, a workflow to be enabled so that the content flows through a defined approval process. Here is a sample content approval process. I'll be talking about this sample in the next slide in detail. Here we have an author who creates the draft. He submits this for review. And an editor or reviewer will review this. If any review changes are there, he will ask the author back to correct the changes. If things are fine, he'll pass it on to the legal review. If there are some legal changes, he will ask back the author to update. If things are fine, he asks for the publishing. The approved content will be published now. This is a sample content approval workflow. AEM content approval. Let us see the scenarios of content approval workflow here. There are cases when multiple department websites are residing on single AEM instance. Each department needs the capability to send its content through its own approval process and specific group of people. We need to allow each department the capability to author its own unique approval workflow process for its authors to use and its stakeholders to participate in. Approval workflows can easily be created out of the box with Adobe Experience Manager. Here is sample pictorial representation. We have an AEM author with the various departments. And each department authors will be creating the content and that content goes through specific workflow, which is very much specific to the relative department. And that gets published into a common AEM publish environment. And the published content will be able to access by the user. Let us see the steps involved in creating a workflow. First, we will create a workflow model to define the series of steps executed when a user starts the workflow. Then we'll trigger the workflow. There are two methods involved. One is from the workflow model or from the page directly invoking the workflow. Then take actions as required so that the workflow proceeds. Monitor the inbox workflow instance section while the workflow is running. So this helps us to understand how the workflow is getting involved. Let us go to the demo now. Here we will see overview of default steps, creating a simple workflow model, creating a content approval workflow based on the model created, 
will verify the workflow by activating a page. So here's the step summary. Create a model, then create a workflow, then trigger the workflow. So we can do this either by invoking the workflow model or from the sites page activation. then verify the workflow. Now let me log into the AEM. To work with workflows, I need to go to tools, workflow. First I'll create a model. Click on create, create model. I'll go and edit the newly created workflow. I'll delete the default step one. I'll add a participate step here. And go and configure. So to work with this demo, I have already created three users, author, editor, and a legal person. So I'll add editor here. Now I will add an or split. So for the or split, I'll select branch one as default and branch two not default and two branches. For the first participant step, So editor verifies and if it is not valid content, he'll reject it to the author back. If the content looks good, editor can forward the content to the legal person now. Now I'll add another or split. I'll do the same things here.
So when the legal person finds some issue in the content, he will project it back to the author. Here I will add a process step. Because the content looks good, so we need to pause it for the publish. If the content looks good, it can be requested for the publish. So we have selected processes activate page, and I will tell like automatically proceed for the next step without waiting for any approval. I'm done with the model creation. This is what is happening in this model. So when an author asks for the publish, it goes to the editor. And editor validates the content. Either he rejects or pass it on for the legal review. And this comes for the legal person. He either rejects the content or approves for the publish. So the content gets published at the end. The yeah, left side, what we are seeing is the default AEM workflow steps. We have filter option, search, and the specific category. On bottom, we can see all the default workflows which is provided by EM, like and split, absolute time, auto advancer, activate page asset, add watermark, etc. So now, once the model is created, we need to click on the sync. Once we ask for syncing the workflow, it updates the run model. Now let me log in back to the AEM as an author. As mentioned before, I have two options to trigger the workflow. First option is go to tools, workflow, models. Select the workflow. So here you have an option start workflow. I need to add a payload. I'll select some of the default content and provide a title. Click on run so that the workflow gets triggered. And the second option is good sites. Select a content. Click on create. Select workflow. Here we need to select the workflow model. I have created content approval demo. Workflow title. I have various options like add content, include children, remove section, etc. I'll just select the page which I wanted to publish. I'll tell create. So now the workflow has started. Let us see how do we verify. We have something called inbox. So as of now for the author, there is no messages. Now let me go back to the workflow instances. Here you can see that the workflow is running. Since I have created the workflow, as an author, I'm the author and I'll be able to see the running workflow. So now I'll log in as the editor and review the things.
So I have logged in as an editor. So you can see that in the inbox, I have the review content ready. Let me go back to the workflow instance and check whether I can see the running workflow. Since the workflow is in my inbox, as of now, I'll not be able to see the running workflow. So I'll just select it. I have various options like complete, step back, delegate to other person, open or view payload. I'll just tell select complete. So in this, if you remember, I had created or split to reject the content or for legal review. I'll select it as legal. I'll tell OK. So now the inbox is empty and the payload has gone to the next approval. Now let me log out. I log in back as the legal person. You can see that as before, there are no workflow instance. And in my inbox, the workflow payload is ready. You can see that the same options are available here too. I click on complete. I have an option reject the content back to author and publish as requested. So I'll select publish as requested. I'll forward for the publish. You can see that inbox and instance section is empty now. So our workflow is completed. Now let me log in back as an admin. There is no new inbox item. And instance section, there is nothing. Let me go back to the workflow. I know that there is nothing in the instances. I will go to the archive. Uh, you can see that there is a completed workflow from author. The workflow model is content approval demo. And the payload was US EN men. Here you can see the last comment added. So this is how the content approval workflow works. Here is the summary. We have seen below things in this video. Overview of AEM content or asset approval workflow. A demo of manual workflow process. Overview of default workflow steps. Creating a simple workflow model. Creating a content approval workflow based on the model created. Verified the workflow by activating a page. Thank you guys for watching this video.